Right, so what's this pile of wires all about? Well, it started off as code by a guy called Dan Bix on the ESP8266.com forum, and I'll post a link underneath to that thread. And what it basically is, is an AP scanner, a Wi-Fi access point scanner, and if it sees your own, well, here we are, it's seen my own um, Netgear router in the other room, so it'll connect up, then it'll grab ThingSpeak data, um, which I'm uploading from another room, and then go back round to the start again. Now you don't have to have the thing speak parts, it's certainly very very useful as an access point scanner. Uh, in this case now you see it starting up in its loop. Uh, I've found two access points and I've also got battery code there. It shows the strength of reception and the actual type of encryption that's going on. I might change that to a star for driving around um, just so you know which ones are free hotspots. But the code I'll be posting a link to as well. And the next part of this is to try and tidy all this mess up and make it into a wearable kind of watch device. Right, here's the build under construction and uh, here's the main unit now. Uh, there's the back of it with the lipo on it. Quite a nice size. I've found an old watch here and I'm going to use the bracelet part of it. Um, it has those uh, metal collapsible things with springs on so we just use the screwdriver down the inside press inward and the sides pop off so the next part is to put the band onto the assembly and uh, should be good to go and there we go bit of glue later and there is the gadget so it's, uh, it's turned out quite good actually the hardware features are it's got an on-off switch at the top, which means I can reset things whenever I want. I don't have to go through the whole procedure. Uh, I can just connect straight up and see how many access points there are. The ESP's uh, pins are on the side for firmware updates. I did one yesterday, in fact, when I forgot to include the 0.7 volt drop of the diode for the LiPo. Um, but now I've incorporated that. Uh, I've also got the connector at the bottom there for the LiPo, so I can charge it up. And it makes it replaceable quite easily. So, uh, right, next thing is to try it out. Just a note at this point, uh, no one in our street seems to have free Wi-Fi, which is a good thing in a way. Uh, so what I've done is I've made this little unit acting as an access point with no encryption on it. And if we start up the scanner, we should see that it finds it as ESP free and it has a star at the side and that will show what to look for when you've got free access uh, Wi-Fi hotspots. So it's found 6 there, there we are ESP free uh, with a strength of 36 and that's because it's right next to it so that's the kind of what to expect for the signal strength, the lower the better. So uh, that should make sense also of the video to follow which is us driving around having a look which access points are around here. Okay, we've come up here with Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, home network not found. Wi-Fi hotspot possibly because there's quite a few businesses around here. Um, two APIs found. Oh, oh Taco Bell! <laughs> Funny, because there's Taco Bell and that's where we're going. <laughs> Excellent, so Taco Bell has got Wi-Fi. Alright, very cool. What type of Wi-Fi is the next part? And we'll see on the right hand side. Oh, Bacon College has got free Wi-Fi. Bacon College. Home network not found, of course. Found four here. Bacon. Taco Bell has got free Wi-Fi. All right, we're at the traffic lights. Hopefully, we can get this in focus. Uh, five APs have been found, and that's uh, oh, three of them have got free Wi-Fi. So what we're doing is we're actually on our way to McDonald's car park and uh, see if McDonald's have got free Wi-Fi in there. There's three APs have been found. Well, CenturyLink, but uh, not McDonald's. Well, let's see what happens with the next scan. Three APs. No, no, it looks like, although <laughs> I don't know what default SSI 
D is, but perhaps that's uh, what they've called their McDonald's one. They haven't oh. put the McDonald's name on it. I don't know. Anyway, so that shows this running and which ones are free. Uh, all three of those have just been found. Yeah, default SSID is up there again. It's a 77 on the strength of it. Um, very, very handy gadget. Okay, thanks for watching.